Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, our fingerprints. Yeah, you bet. Now mine are on this one. Yeah, you right. Have fingerprints on the windows because you never sat by a window. You had to sit um, here. Right, I know. I was always looking right out the window. Here all the time. Right. Seals, right. Yep. Yeah, but then yeah, those things were pretty bad. Well, things were moving along really well. Engine was buttoned up. Connor come over and help me turn some wrenches. Had to get the stainless steel trim all polished up. Get that ready to go on the bottom. Right. That's pretty good. What? Mm -hmm. Shut the idle down a little bit. Yep. Because that's what happens when the heads get warm and stuff because it's got all that fresh paint on it. That's what that smell is. Uh huh. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Well, we're just getting taping the car off here, getting ready for paint. Started on the doors and on the trunk and stuff, but we're getting close. Jack's probably going to paint it here in the next day or two, but we got to get it taped up first. So here we go. More to follow. Stay tuned. Next thing you know, it was time for final paint. Got everything taped up and ready for Jack to uh, lay down that beautiful purple paint. What happened between now and then? Oh man, you ain't a kidding. Got a new president and everything. <laughs> It was assembly time, bumper and grill, headlights.
Yeah, we'll play on here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Terry came over to put the headliner in the car, but I had to work late and missed the installation of mine. But I got to watch him put the headliner in the CUDA. The vinyl roof was on, and everything in Jack's e body shop was looking pretty sharp. Well, today is the day. The inside of the car changes drastically. It was time for interior, and away we went on that. Getting ready for glass. Good side. <laughs> Sitting right inside that right inside that interior line. Okay, flip her in to about the depth of what you think. Bring her down here. About right. That one. Bingo. Well, we had a monster day here at the shop. Got the windshield in and the trim. Got the back glass in and the trim. And got some work done on the interior. Got the door covers on. Three times. Three times, <laughs> right, yeah. Got the back side on, and look at there. We got back seat in it, too. Holy Toledo, I don't think Jack knew that. Just slipped the back seat in it, too, so. Cool. There it is. Oh, don't it look good? Mm -hmm. Oh. You think that windows too? What's that? You think the windows too? Yeah. Got them trapped in there now. Let's go home. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You gonna babysit for a while, Jack? <laughs>
What do you think? Yeah. You fit? Yeah, Can you reach the gas pedals and the brake? Oh yeah, if I move up for Oh good. <laughs> Let's slide the seat up a little bit. We'll get her. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. She's like new, bud. What's that, Dad? Said she's just like new. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. I got me a beer a couple days ago. Good. First bath. What are we doing? First ride in the Challenger. It might be a risky maneuver. It's November and it's towards uh, dusk, so a little worried about deer. No insurance, no registration. Just How about that? <laughs> no seatbelts. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. November 21st, 2017. Been a long time in the making. We got in the back seat. Hey, Connor. The girls are missing out. They're in basketball. It looks like a driving the Challenger. Challenger. I mean, they hardly changed the design. Yeah. Our uh, maiden voyage here with Grandpa and the Challenger. It's only been since fall of 78. Oh, 43 years. Yeah. Where's Connor? <laughs> What's up, buddy? We're gonna go for a ride. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. What do you think, Pops? Yeah. It's been a long time. A long time, yeah. Alright, Pop, let's switch it up. No, you drive. No, no. I don't want nothing to happen. Nothing's gonna happen. You drive. It's perfect. Oh, yeah. What do you think, Pops? What do you think? Fun. Pretty fun, yeah. Right, nice and smooth. Yes, sir. It sure was exciting putting the final touches on the car and starting it for the first time and seeing it purple and then, you know, getting to take it for a test drive and uh, later on letting Dad take it for his first drive in it in almost 40 years. It was a true blessing to get to work at Dell's and become friends with all those guys. And uh, and thanks to them for for making our dreams come true. Been thinking about uh, having this done for decades, and now that it's reality, it uh, almost seems like a dream. And it definitely is a dream come true. So thanks for everybody. Thank you, mom and dad, for keeping that car all those years, and and uh, having the privilege to to get it restored. So. Thank you.